Hi, my name is Tim Sveridov. I'm a professional journalist and science fiction writer in Russia. I know Julia for a long period of time, and our relations was really comfortable. So she started telling me about her dreams. It was really, really interesting dreams with very unusual details. I listened to this dream and it was my interest to hear it more and more because as a science fiction writer, I always in search for unusual aspects of life and I'm trying to find out more the thing which probably interesting for other people. If it's interesting for me, my readers also will read this with interest. So I start writing it down. As a journalist, I have a special technique to write really fast. And I start trying to catch everything I can from these dreams. And I write lots of uh, books like this with really small letters about each and every dream I hear. It was, in fact, really, really hard work. Soon I understand that I took impossible hard job on myself for nothing, uh, except it was really interesting for me. And it was more than 10 years I did it. And these dreams was like a specific lanes which last from one dream to another telling the different story about such things as uh, pyramids the huge crystals mm, maybe turquoise water white sands unusual people sometimes people in her dreams and herself also have unusual signs on the on body, on hands, on faces. It looks like tattoo, unusual tattoo. And she saw the huge events with lots of people and she did some rituals before all of them. Not so long ago, she traveled to Mexico and this group of tourists was in Yucatan, an architectural ensemble of Chichen Itza, and suddenly start remembering everything here. She feels she know for a long period of time the pyramids, the all uh, buildings here, everything. After she returned to Vancouver, the friends uh, tell her that probably good idea to go to a uh, hypnotist trying to remember the past life and she did this when I know about this I understand that for me this puzzle was solved because all things she explained in her dreams was really about this past life, uh, the Mexico, the pyramids, and uh, rituals, uh, all parts of puzzle was solved for me. Like little parts in her s dreams um, came together, and I understand that was uh, her past life, in which she was a, a priest in these pyramids, the highest priest who make huge rituals for all these people. When I analyze her present life and this knowledge about the previous life, when I analyze the dreams I recorded, I start seeing the patterns of previous life coming into present life of 
Julia. In her outfits, she really liked the thing which was close her when she was a high priest, Maya. I mean, the bracelets, uh, necklaces, which made from big stones, shells, pearls, feathers, seeds, bones, and such stuff. She do really like uh, outfits with colors and patterns of jaguar and seems feel really comfortable in it. Her profession resembles me of uh, her previous profession because as a Maya highest priest, she was, uh, her daily duty was agriculture and astrology to help people. And now her profession is biology, agriculture. Uh, astrology, this is interesting, became her present hobby. And it was in USSR before Perestroika when astrology was prohibited when she started interesting in it and when Perestroika starts she took her part in movement for legalizing astrology becoming it legal to study and using astrology when we published book about astrology the first book in Russia it was really interesting she took out uh, her name as an author of this book and use instead a name which came maybe from dreams to her maybe from something else and now we understand that this name connected to her previous life and previous experience as a Maya astrologer she chose to put not her real name but the name which in translation from Maya means the name of ancient Maya highest priest. It was really interesting. Maya astrology was very complex and advanced and was based on numbers. Maya numbers used even zero. In her, pre, uh, in her uh, present life, Julia have very strong connections with numbers. Some mystical uh, knowledge. I have impression that numbers talking to her. When we have some discussions, suddenly uh, numbers appeared before us and telling her about good or bad thing she may have ahead. It can be a numbers of cars, it can be a television or numbers written on papers, newspapers. And this numbers is uh, good, which tells about some good things ahead or bad, which prevent her from doing something wrong. This is really interesting. Look, so Julia had one uh, very interesting question. He asked me about the power of numbers. You see, Julia's, and not just Julia, Julia Julia's, and magically, my favorite number is 13. And that was an interesting story with Julia. We met her a summer day a few years ago. And we talked about number 13, and there were no traffic absolutely, and we saw three cars right away with the number 13 license plate right away and go back to the number even that when the, the three cars showed up at stanley park one after another with the number 13 even that shows you how much how, how could that even be possible it's not possible logically if you think about it it's absolutely not possible but because so even that is, is just by itself it's 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 magic it's, it's beyond magic, beyond our understanding, because created by this super consciousness. 